hello there. Fancy seeing you here. And speaking of fancy, believe it or not, which you probably will not believe, I am heading to a ball tonight. That's right. The queen herself has invited me to a ball in celebration of Bridgerton season two coming out on Netflix. I'll admit to you right now, I have never watched Bridgerton. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, I probably should, but you know what? The event's is literally tonight, so I don't have time. Um, but I'm gonna get the gist of it. Old timey, fancy queen <laughs> crowns. I don't know, <laughs> but it's gonna be a lot of fun. I actually am going to this event because uh, some of my friends invited me to go. They're all like getting tickets and stuff, and they're just like, "You should get ticket too." And I was just like, "What is this?" And they're like, "It's an event, blah blah blah." And I was like, "All right, I'll go." So. I'm going, so I'm really excited, um, and no, I'm not going to be wearing my pajamas to the event, I'm actually going to like transform and look the part. For those of you who are unaware of the Queen's Ball, it's actually an event that's held here in LA and I think other cities as well throughout the United States, um, but the one I'm going to is in LA, and anyone could buy tickets to it, like you don't actually have to be invited by the Queen, um, but they do make you feel like you were personally invited by the Queen, so that's really cool. But anyway, yeah, you can pretty much just buy a ticket um, and to attend this event, and you can dress up, it's highly encouraged that you dress up. Um, and like Bridgerton theme, or you know, like old timey fancy theme, um, but you don't have to. But uh, I'm the kind of person who, if I am presented the opportunity to dress up, I will dress up. So I actually have some ball gowns that I own because I worked with a couple brands uh, years past and I kept some of the really nice dresses. I'm like, when am I ever gonna use these? Well, this would be a perfect time to use them. But I have already worn them before, so I was like, I'm going to try to finesse my way into getting a dress that I could either, you know, get sent or I could borrow slash rent out in exchange for, you know, social media posts and stuff. Um, so I don't have to spend, you know, $400 on a dress that I'm only going to wear once. So luckily I did reach out to a brand, Cinderella Divine and... Andrea and Leo, so they're like two sister companies uh, or two sister brands that they both, you know, sell uh, fancy dresses or like gowns, prom dresses and stuff. Um, and I'll link them in the description box below if you're interested in checking them out. They do have really, really nice dresses. So I reached out to them and they're like, yeah, we could totally, um, you know, rent out a dress for you. So um, we have these available and you can choose whatever one you want. And sure enough, I chose a dress. It's quite, quite lovely. And now I'm just waiting for it to arrive because um, it was a process trying to figure out which dress I was able to get. So that took a long time because every time I picked a dress, they're like, Oh yeah, it's actually not available anymore. Oh yeah, it's not available anymore. Actually, not in your size. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. So that took a while to finally figure out a dress. Um, apparently because it's like prom season and stuff. Prom season and wedding season. And it's just like, all the dresses are taken. But eventually we landed on this dress, which is very pretty. You know, not very bridgerton -y as I was hoping, but still very, very pretty. And I'm quite excited to get it because today is the event and I still don't have it. And they sent it out yesterday. So am I concerned? Yes. Um, I'm going to email them though to see if they could give me an ETA of when it's supposed to come. Hopefully it does come today. I mean, fingers crossed. Um, but I, I do have backups just in case it does not come today. So yeah, anyway, that is the entire story. I hope you enjoyed it. If not, then I'm <laughs> sorry. But anyway, um, I'll check back in with you once I get an update on the dress. So, update on the dress. I emailed them and asked them if I could get like a tracking number or something, and they sent it over, and they're like, oh yeah, it should arrive by 7 p.m. tonight, which is great news. I'm glad that it's supposed to come today, but 7 p.m. tonight, hopefully it does come at all but yes that is the update and i am still currently in my pajamas i'm going to work out take a shower and then uh maybe get some work done and then get ready and then when i'm getting ready that's when i will check back in with you so see you soon bye dress has arrived hallelujah <laughs> because originally it was supposed to come around seven today which is still really good i'm so glad that she responded to me and told me that it was going to indeed come today but you know when they said oh it's gonna come out around seven and my event is at nine i was just like what if it comes later what if they decide it's too late and it's not going to come at all but it's here 
tis right here in this beautiful box in this wonderful bag and I'm going to go ahead and unbox it for you unbag it for you ah! obviously it doesn't look that exciting but once I actually put it on it's gonna be really exciting and okay so I haven't done my hair and makeup yet this is just me trying on the dress and here it is the big reveal so again this is from Cinderella Divine they are letting me borrow it for tonight so thank you to them and no i actually cannot zip it up by myself but i will zip it up for tonight <laughs> don't you worry um and i think that if it's wonderfully a little bit long but that's because i'm quite petite um i'm on my tippy toes right now like my tippy tippy toes right now and look how far down it goes so i'm just gonna have to be walking around the event like everywhere so <laughs> uh if you catch me there that's why i'm walking like that because i'm short but yeah super cute dress can't wait to do my hair and makeup and add some accessories and really like put the whole look together and look royal for tonight. Alrighty, it is get ready with me time. So step one, lose the glasses because everybody knows that blurry vision is the key to beauty. So that's gonna go. Um, actually, the first thing I wanna do is uh, do my nails because right now they are rather plain, which normally I like to just keep them plain because they go with everything because they're just plain, but I feel like they'll be a little bit too not fancy enough for this event. Ha, huh. so funny enough, I totally forgot that I was going to wear gloves for this event. <laughs> so nobody was going to see my nails. I did not need to paint them. But um, yeah, I didn't even think about that. And I went ahead and painted my nails, which they still came out really cute. So, you know, that's something. But I did end up covering them <laughs> the entire time with my white gloves that I already knew I was going to wear but somehow I forgot and went ahead and painted my nails anyway. Anyway. Next up is hair. Oh, if you're wondering what my nails look like, this is what they look like. They don't look like anything much here in this lighting and stuff, but when I like, post it on Instagram, they're gonna look really cute. <laughs> yeah, I didn't post my nails on Instagram because I was wearing gloves. But uh, I'm gonna wand my hair next, so I just use this tool to curl my hair, so boop. And this is what my hair looks like once it's curled. So uh, for this, I just gotta do my makeup, then put the dress on, figure out if I'm going to accessorize a certain way, and then we're going to head off to the event. So that's really exciting. I'll show you once everything's already on though. So yeah. Okay, so this is the full look, you guys. Ah! What do you guys think? I love it so much. It's again, it's a little bit long, so I keep kind of like stepping all over myself, and I'm really hoping that nobody steps on me at the event, but I'm pretty sure that they will. I just gotta be really, really careful, but yes, the dress itself is so lovely, and then I accessorized it with these star dangly earrings, the gloves, I think the gloves really make it like royal and Bridgerton-y, otherwise it'd look more like a prom dress. Well, I guess maybe it does still kind of look prom dress, especially like the tiara and stuff, but I think it's gonna fit the vibe. I saw a lot of videos of people like really, really dressed up, so I'm like, I am gonna fit right in, so I'm pretty excited about it you get the whole look i think i'm gonna have to move the camera but yeah hold on just a sec i'll move it right now honestly with the gloves i feel very much Anne hathaway in princess diaries <laughs> oh i love it and then i love the fluff right here so fun i can't wait i can't wait so speaking of that we gotta go so like i mentioned earlier the event that i went to was in la at the millennium biltmore hotel and I think that that was a great choice for this event because the architecture and like interior design of the hotel itself already fit the theme of this event. So once you walk in, it was already like everything was again on theme, but you are ushered into like a certain area where they actually have the event itself. So when you walk in, you uh, get your ID, Vax card, and ticket checked, and then you line up to go into the area where the event is actually being held. And once you walk in, you're walking through a beautiful archway of wisteria flowers, which of course is gorgeous. But the thing is, everyone gets lit in all at once. So you will have to pick a corner and 
take your pictures and video there and hope that nobody gets into your background because again everyone gets lit in all at once and then once you go through the archway you can see that there's a bar there's costumes and various you know decorations that fit the Bridgerton theme and it's all just so gorgeous and well put together they also have a few photo ops including this like falling diamond photo op area where you can go like inside the diamonds there's an area where you could go in and not actually get hit by the diamonds and you could you know take your photos and video there it looks really really nice and then they have another photo op where you take a photo in their little set and then they turn it into like an old style painting or like an oil painting which i really really wanted to do but once the queen arrives and you're ushered into the next room you can't go back so i did not have the chance to do that but I'm warning you now, make sure that you get your photo ops in before the queen arrives. But once the queen arrives, there's also different things that you could do. There's performances, the dancers here are absolutely amazing. And then you can also actually present yourself to the queen, which is optional. You don't have to do it. If you're shy like me, uh, you don't have to do it. The only reason I did it was because I missed out on the photo op that I really wanted to do. And I was like, you know what? If I am not able to get that photo op, I'm at least going to get a video with the queen. So yeah, in addition to that, there's also dancing. <laughs> Lady Maria Branwell has certainly caught the eye of the Queen, and it appears she has but one thing to say to the darling debutante. It seems that the Queen has waged all her bets on this young lady. And then of course there's some amazing performances as well, and what I really like is that they actually like perform they dance for you but then they also reel you guys in and they're like come here come here come here i'm gonna teach you how to dance so then everybody learns how to dance like a simple ballroom dance and it's so much fun i wish i got video of it but i was dancing so i could like record and dance at the same time especially because i have a hard time you know trying to figure out how to dance in general because i'm the worst dancer ever but it was still a lot of fun and of course again the performances were incredible the music was incredible just so much fun and to conclude the night, the queen chooses the diamond of the season, or the diamond of the ball. I'm actually not sure. Again, I don't watch Bridgerton. But this lovely individual was our diamond of the ball. And they really had a special moment right there in all the glitter. It was a great time. And again, overall, it was fun for everyone. It was a, a, a great experience. I would actually highly recommend going. I'm going to go ahead and uh, give you my final review at the end but you know overall I had an absolutely fantastic time and I'm so happy that I went and I would recommend everyone give it a try it was kind of like like prom but you know 1800s theme and it was fantastic it was it was unforgettable I loved it this is actually the next day <laughs> I'm so wearing the whole ensemble again uh, because I actually wanted to take some like daytime photos because all the photos that I had get from yesterday are obviously at night and when you go onto my Instagram like it's all daytime so I put this back on I also wanted to film some TikToks before I returned it and then um, I also wanted to update you guys on everything that happened at the event I know I'm gonna do like a voiceover for the like actual event but as a recap, uh, again, it was a lot of fun. I believe the tickets were $60 for a this 90 minute event. And getting there was not that bad. Luckily, my husband drove me there and just like dropped me off. So that was really nice of him. Of course, I really appreciated that. So I didn't have to deal with parking. Although, because normally parking in LA is horrible, but the hotel that the event was at actually had its own parking. $24 for parking for this 90 minute event, but at least you would have probably found parking. I don't really know what the situation would have been. I don't know if there's like a lot of space available, but nobody was complaining about the parking. So I'm thinking it was, it was good, just expensive, but good. Um, and then of course you could always like Uber there or get dropped off there or whatever. So that was fine. The hotel itself was beautiful. I totally understand why they chose that hotel for this event because it really fit the vibe. It really felt like old timey with the architecture and the designs and like the colors. And then like on top of that, like that was just a hotel like as it was. And then on top of that, they of course had the different um, like costuming and the props and then the performers and then the photo ops and stuff. 
so that like helped uh, put everything together and then um so checking in was easy they had us line up show our id and our vax card and then after that they give us a wristband um actually no <laughs> after they check the id and va vax card that's when you show them your t your ticket and then they give you a wristband and then they let you in and when you walk in there's like these like wisteria flowers um welcoming you in you get to walk through that which is really cool however i do wish that they had set it up so that there's maybe multiple entrances that way not everybody is just like going in at once because you want to take pictures next to the wisteria flowers like in the entryway and stuff because it's gorgeous but you can't really do that when there's like a ton of people right there you know so i wish that there was a way that they could do it where they could only let they only let in like a little bit at a time or like they just allow you to go back because that was like one of the biggest things too it's like once you walk through a room and they like usher you into the next room you can't go back which i did not know so i missed out on like the biggest photo op that i wanted which was like the portrait one i was so excited for that one I wanted to, you know, take my photo and then what they do is they, they kind of make it like an oil painting, like an old style painting. And I wanted to do that with all my friends because I thought that would have been an amazing portrait. But the line was really, really long and then um, before we were able to actually do it, they like ushered us into the next room and they were, were like, oh, we'll just do it after. But once we were in that room, they didn't let us go back. So I was really, really bummed about that. But luckily I did have the chance to take a picture in the other area that I want to take a picture in, which was like the diamond area but even with that one i was kind of rushed with that too and i don't even know how those came out so hopefully they came out cute i don't know check out my instagram <laughs> um but yeah other than that i really enjoyed it it did seem like it was rather short but again an hour and a half that's pretty good and i think the reason it felt short was because there was just so much going on um what i really really liked about it and i didn't expect is that the performers actually encourage you to come and learn how to ballroom dance, which is so cute. I am the worst dancer of all time, and I still had fun. Like, I was, I got separated from my friends, and I was paired up with strangers, and the vibe was just so, everybody was just so happy to be there, and so into the, like, immersiveness of the whole, you know, 1800s vibe that, um, Everyone was really nice and nobody judged me for you know being confused and not knowing what the heck to do and making the wrong steps and stuff because everybody was lost equally um, and everyone was understanding. So that was a lot of fun, of course. And uh, um, the performances were really nice. The queen was stunning. The music was really cool. I felt like it was kind of like a prom again. They did have some uh, pockets where you could just like dance to the music, which was fun but again i wish that instead of like just being in that room just to dance that i could have had the option to go back into the other room and get my picture taken that would have been amazing but other than that it was again a lot of fun it did feel really fast so i feel like i didn't get a ton of footage but if you are interested in you know dressing up and dancing and really feeling immersed in like that old-timey kind of feel bridgerton times then i would actually suggest that you take advantage of this event because it was fun i would say that it's worth it just wish that i had known about the photo ops thing because i mean for me yeah, that's what i want the most but if you like other things you'd rather dance you'd rather like be a part of the ball then you'll totally be fine but now that you know that you need to take advantage of those photo ops once they're there you'll be prepared so yeah overall it was a good time. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you want the uh, link to where my dress is from, it will be in the description box below. And uh, be sure that you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, both at Crystal Everdeen. Believe me, it's a fun time. And it's what I update the most because I post on there first and then I post on YouTube probably like a couple days later. So if you wanna be in the know, at Crystal Everdeen on Instagram and TikTok. So yes, thank you again so, so much for watching. Be sure that you click that red subscribe button if you have not already, so I can see you next time. Bye, and have a magical day. These days, under the sun together. These days, let's make them last forever. These days. These days, let's 
hope they last forever. 